Here is another video with construction math in it. And of course, this is just another attempt of mine to try to explain what some of these geometric figures are, how you can draw them, and how you can use circles and squares and angles kind of a thing. And I know that I've already made a few of these videos and I might make some more in the future, but the whole, my goal here is to try and have one of these things, one of these methods resonate with uh, people. And it's like, you know, I might make a video where 20% of the people get it. And I might make another video and uh, maybe a, another 30% understand it. So that's just kind of where the where I'm going at here with my thought process. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to draw an octagon. And I don't have a square shape, uh, shape here. It's a rectangle. And, but we are going to have a starting point. And the starting point is going to be um, four lines that are at right angles kind of a thing. So you would just draw a line down the center and then a line down the center of this. And this isn't hard to do. I actually have a, another video. I'll put a link here to that. And for those of you who you might have a difficult, you might not be starting with a square side. If you have a straight line you're starting with, then to make something like this, you can do it with a tape measure most of the time and maybe even a framing square. So we're going to start there. I'm going to come out six feet, um, draw a line there, and then we're going to draw a circle. So the circle is going to have a six foot radius. And then you're just simply going to connect the dots. So this is kind of something we can do as uh, kids. This isn't difficult. We're just going to connect the corners here with some straight lines. And then we are going to draw four more lines down the center. So we just need to measure the length of this. And let's just say it's 10 feet. Then we're going to come to 5 feet make a mark so that we can draw a line. We're just going to connect the dots across here. So not dead, that, not that difficult. Uh, I understand it could be um, still difficult. For me, I'm looking at it. I understand. I drew everything, you know, drew it before I made the, made the video. So don't, you know, I know that there are a lot of people that, ah, oh, I feel like an idiot if I, if I don't get this. Uh, just Bear with me. Watch the video a couple of times and uh, hope it'll uh, make sense eventually. So and then we're just going to connect the dots again. We're just simply going to connect the dots or the lines here where they meet. So here we have it. There's our octagon. So this really isn't that difficult. Um, once you see it done, I'm hoping it's not that difficult. There it is, octagon with um, some circles and some squares. In our second example, I'm simply going to take two squares and I'm going to connect again. We're just connecting the dots with two lines across here. And this might not be practical in the field, but you might be able to, this might be able to help you if you are using some type of uh, software like I have here. And uh, what I'm going to do here is just simply move this one, move this square over. And I am going to line it up here. So I have two squares. And then I'm simply going to rotate one 45 degrees. So I'm just going to rotate it 45 degrees. So if we were to line the squares up, you could see where I would have it and I would be turning it. This, this, point here would have been this point here lined up and then I would turn it clockwise at a 45 degree angle to get this. And once I have this, once I have this, you can see where the octagon shape is in here. So again, this might not be practical on a uh, out in the field, but it uh, it uh, you might be able to use it with something like this. Now, in the field, I could see where you could do something like this. You could start with a square. Start with a square. And then if you knew this line was going to be four feet, you could always draw this at four feet and then draw a 45 degree angle. Measure the length at four feet. 
draw another 45 degree angle. And you can see here where that would be a 90 degree angle off of this. And then draw another 45 degree angle and then just work your way around. And uh, of course, you could always check it, check the accuracy by drawing a circle around. So again, I don't know how practical something like this is going to be in the field, but uh, it, it will provide you with another way to draw an octagon in uh, a computer um, software like we have here. So that's it for the video. I understand these aren't no super awesome, you know, uh, you know, you're going to be sending them uh, all over the internet. They're going to go viral, you know. But um, again, I'm just trying to throw something out there. If it sticks and it makes sense and you can actually look at something like this and understand the degrees, what degrees we're using, what lines we're using, how they connect, then it's going to, uh, very good chance it's going to help you in the field um, on your next construction project, or even um, if you're just a youngster in school trying to figure this stuff out.